Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Fiona. If you're new here, welcome. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button ding to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video. So for today's video, as you guys saw from the title, we are going to do a makeup look. So for today's look, I'm going to just be doing a bronzy summer look. So you could wear this look downtown to a bar or an event, if there's any events happening. But yeah, um, anywhere really you can wear it out. It's summer so I'm doing a bronzy look today. And honestly, I don't know if I have any foundation that actually matches my skin tone because I have been out in the sun so I did get like a little bit of color so I am a little bit darker than my usual color so we're gonna have to test it out but whatever bronzer can solve the issue so I'm not really worried and yeah so if you guys are ready to see the bronze look then keep on watching so to start off make sure you wash your hands then I'm going to do um, the baby skin instant pore eraser I don't really care for it. I mean, it's drugstore, it's cheap, so I shouldn't expect anything more, but hey. I'm just gonna spray my face with a, a little bit of MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Just to add hydration to the skin and some like moisture or whatever for when I put on foundation so it doesn't like completely dry me out. I think. Usually I apply my foundation with a beauty blender. Today I'm just gonna be using the Morphe M439 foundation brush to apply the high foundation. It's just a lot easier and honestly, I need to wash my beauty blenders. <laughs> so that's why. So for today's video, I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless and it is shade 120. Honestly this brush, this Morphe brush is like really good because it doesn't lose any product. Usually when you put like foundation or any product onto a brush, it loses like all the product into the brush. It soaks up but like this brush is like fantastic. This is really not my color. Hmm. Okay, so now that I have my base on, I'm going to do my eyebrows and honestly bear with me because I haven't got my eyebrows waxed in a very long time. So, we'll just have to make do. Honestly, I have pretty good eyebrows. I can't complain, but they're just like wild all the time. And I'm no like pro at eyebrows. Like I really have no idea how to do eyebrows. I don't. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, let me know down below. So usually I just do like a line underneath right here. Then I carry this line down from the top. Give it a little color in and do the same with this top. But don't go like all the way to the end. You don't want it like too dark. You want to make it like a gradual thing. And I just add some like hair strokes at the very top of my eyebrow. Then color in any spots that you see uh, that need some like extra shading. So now I've done both of my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal down the center of my nose. M451 just to blend this out. So how are you guys enjoying? Like, are you guys back to work? Are you still off? What are you guys doing? Are you guys like doing anything fun for the summer? I know we can't really travel, but you can like travel domestically. Are you guys going anywhere? I know a couple of people who actually went like to BC because they're able to travel and they're gonna take advantage of just like having the time off, I guess, to travel, which would be nice, like honestly. I kind of regret not doing that because I would love to go there and love to see that side. I've never been there, even though I live in Canada, I've never been, would love to go. But I need like a travel buddy, like I need someone who's willing and just willing to like explore and do crazy things, like not plan. Just like one day, hey, you know what, let's go, alright, let's go, like, you know, like spontaneous. I need someone who's spontaneous that will go on these adventures with me. So, after my concealer, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. 
and this is in the color toast so i'm gonna use this as contour and sorry the other the like pro concealer that i used for my concealer is color buff it's like super white <laughs> going to spray the same brush usually I would be using a beauty blender but because all my beauty blenders are dirty I don't want to use them today so I mean I could easily clean it but it's okay. and I'm just going to blend this out Okay, so now that it's all blended out, I'm going to be using the Marcel translucent powder. I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush and put some under my eyes. Just dust it and like I'm tapping it in. I'm not really rubbing it. Put some under my eyes, my eyelids, and just brushing. the rest of my face so for my eyeshadow i'm just going to be using these this dope palette i did get it at winners and honestly i just like the shades in it and mind you it's dirty because i use it but this are these are the colors i like the like nudes the browns gold like whites like that. i don't really mess around with eyeshadow like that because i don't know how to do it so i don't use bright colors and i'm not really outgoing like that but like I said before, I really want to get used to like using different colors and like blending and shading and cutting creases and stuff. Like I want to do all of that. I just don't know how. So I need to learn and I need to actually take the time to practice because I haven't done that either. And I'm just going to start off with this color right here. And it looks a lot lighter than it is. Like it looks a lot lighter on camera than it is in person. But anyways, I'm just going to get some of that. I'm just going to use this as the transition color. Then I'm going to be going in with some of this. This is like a darker brown, although it still looks like a, like really light on camera. Use it on the outer corner. And make sure you blend, blend, blend. Or like James Charles would say, blend but don't blend in. So I'm just going to take some of the gold right here and I'm going to be putting it on top of my eyelid. So that's what it looks like so far. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer to bronze up my face. This is like a bronzy summer look. So we need a lot of bronzer. Now that the bronzer is on, I'm going to put on some blush. I'm using the Milani 05 blush. I don't do too much blush, but for this look, maybe just add a little bit more to get that like sun-kissed vibe. Next, I'm just going to use some of this LA Colors. It is white pigment. And I'm just going to use this tiny Morphe M149 brush. I'm just going to add it to the inner corners just to brighten up my eyes. We're almost finished. We are going to bring my face with the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Next step is highlighter and I do like I don't dry my face completely before I put the highlighter on just because I don't want like like I want the highlighter to pop so usually with like a little bit of moisture it does that I'm going to be using the Sephora highlighting palette I don't know what kind of palette this is but so I'm just going to be using this color right here take a little bit on the brush and on my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and at the bottom the tip 
I'm gonna put on my mascara. Right now, I'm just using the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume and Curl. This is like super cheap, it's like $2 or something. So whatever, it works fine. So I just use it. Now, the final step, I'm just going to put on this lipstick. It is a pink lipstick. But I got this lipstick in the Dollar Tree haul, so definitely check that out. I will link it right here. The last step is just I'm going to put some lip gloss on, just like clear lip gloss. And I also got this at the Dollar Tree haul as well. This is the final look and you can notice that my eyes do look bluer just because I did use like orange eyeshadow and whatever so it does make the blue pop and it's just like a nice bronzy look for the summer and yeah so it's not that bad just a quick little makeup routine quick little look for the summer so this is the end of the video if you guys made it to the end and thanks for watching don't forget to comment share like and subscribe hit the bell button that way you get notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next video peace out thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video peace